Um, the Liver King. When I I I, I never followed that guy. Um, I, he could be in some trouble. He always denied taking uh, performance enhancing in, um, boosters. He always said that like some lifestyle he had gave him that that look being huge like he is um jacked like that like like how the rock looks <clears throat> and he he basically peddled some type of supplements and lied to people so he could probably be sued for that um because he denied taking steroids and now he's coming out saying he took them you know when i see people that have that are huge like that you know, you go to the gym and you see these dudes that are pretty big and and their muscles are just bulging out there like huge. Like these professional bodybuilders look like they're 300 pounds with no fat. They're just huge muscles on their body. You have to, you have, the first thing that comes to my mind is they're taking, they're taking something and they always want to deny it. They always want to deny it. Um, they never want to admit, yeah, they're walking around taking that stuff. <clears throat> and you could tell. Mm. D they've worked hard to get that body. I mean, they did the workouts. It's not like they took the, the, the steroids and all of a sudden their muscle just inflated like SpongeBob. Uh, on one of the episodes, like the muscle arms, but they still, it gives you an advantage if you take that. I've never taken that type of stuff before. Um, so there's a reason why baseball players used to take it. There's a reason why it's banned from sports because you do get an advantage. You get uh, an increase in testosterone, which will make you work out harder. Um, it'll make you stronger. It'll make you recover faster. Okay. So a lot of these dudes are just fake. They like to play like they are natural and they're fake. They're fake people. And I'm starting to think that everything is fake the internet's fake you know when i see people like on youtube saying oh only like 14 percent of men in america are over six foot tall and then in reality it seems like especially when i go to the gym or anywhere it seems like it's more like 80% of men are over six foot tall. Um, I don't know if it's just the areas I'm, I go to, maybe it's just the areas I go to, but it seems fake. It seems like the internet lies. It seems like, um, like, like women, like they're fake as hell. Um, they always wear the makeup, uh, they got the fake li lashes, the bottom and boot, the bottom booster. So it looks like they got diaper bottoms, diaper asses, um, just fake asses. You know, they look good, but they're, it just looks like a little bit too much. You know, they probably got implants or something or, or they took the performance enhancing, you know, to get like that. Women never used to have asses like that, especially white girls. They never had asses like that when I was growing up. I never, they're all like skinny. Every girl that I, I remember, it was very rare to see a girl that had asses. I know they're doing the ass exercises to have asses like, the, like how a lot of white girls are having nowadays. And I don't, I don't know if they're taking performance enhancers or what, or, or it's just fake. You know, Instagram's fake. Um, 
you get up on the internet and you scroll through TikTok and then you hear like uh how people seem so tense, right, on the internet. Um, and then you go out in reality, and people aren't. You know, there might be a little bit of tension here and there, but, like, race relations, I don't see, I don't feel any problems. People treat me with respect. I treat them with respect. Um, a lot of the things that people complain about on the internet, I don't see in reality. So it makes me think that the, the, the internet's fake. Um, a lot of these people are probably... I'm listening to a lot of these people and I'm wondering if it's it's all bullshit. Um, it makes it sound like... I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like anything is real. And I just... I'm getting highly, I'm just like highly agitated. I'm highly agitated today, especially today. Um, what, when you get, when you see, um, people like Andrew Tate, you know, basically laugh at people who work, who work a real job and, and, and the arrogance of this man to be like, it's like, you understand you're making fun of the people and calling them losers, basically who help you have that lux luxurious lifestyle. Maybe you have all this fucking money in the, in, in the world, right? You have like a, over hundred, hundreds of thousands, hundreds of millions of dollars. Whoop de do fucking do if nobody's going to do the work for you. I doubt he knows how to work on his fucking Bugattis. I doubt he knows how to um, work on his yachts. He doesn't want to do all that fucking shit. He knows how to kickbox and talk shit. And, and he is highly uh, philosophical. Uh, he, he does have a lot of information when it comes to philosophy and shit like that. He doesn't know how to do all that shit. You know, he's not a jack of all trades. He knows how to do everything in his life to sustain his fucking life. He needs people to work for him. To sustain his life. That's what I was, you know, that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, and, and, and he acts so arrogant. And I was watching um, uh, this MGTOW um, show, Sandman, right? And he's like ripping on these women who are trying to put other women in place that are, that are behaving badly. And, and making them aware. And then it's like he's hating on them. And wanting them to fail when it's like, you realize that women in the past kept other women in check that acted out and be behaved badly, right? Um, it's like, um, it's, it's just ridiculous, right? It's just ridiculous. It's like, everything is fucking fake, man. I think I'm just getting tired of everything. I'm getting tired of the fucking tired of hearing the same shit. You know what's cool? What I feel what I feel good about is Elon buying Twitter. And I feel like I can say a lot of things I can't say before. I can't do it 100%, which is fine. But it's way better than it was before. And he's coming out and he's and he's exposing people that need to be exposed. And he's exposing the agenda of the elites, the establishment. Um, that's what gives me hope. Because like he said in one of his videos, like to be happy, you have to have. You got you got to feel fulfilled in either your work or in your love life. And I think the reason why I'm so upset and angry is because I'm not fulfilled in either one. 
Um, and, and it's because of the decisions I've made. I have to continue to work jobs that I know that I'm better. I hate to say that. I, I hate to be, I'm not, I'm a very humble man. Okay. But I know I can do better than the jobs I'm at. I just need time to be able to get the knowledge to go and, and get into a, a better job, a better situation. Um, which soon I will have that time. I'm doing very important work right now. Um, finish raising my son. And, and, and I want to do more. And I, I feel extremely um, handicapped. Um, but, I, but I probably sound like a hypocrite. Like a huge hypocrite. Because it's so confusing. Like I probably sound like a communist. Or a socialist. And a capitalist. Other times. But I see that there's an attack on both sides. I see that, yes, there are greedy companies. Because I work for them, that they don't care about their employees. They don't pay them well enough. They'll take everything that they can from the bottom workers while ignoring the middle workers, the, the office workers, and eliminating their jobs or their pay because they don't do shit. Instead of always going to the bottom workers. Or just squeezing all they can. Out of the bottom workers. For profits. For their. Um, for either their selves. Or their um, investors. Which they should definitely have. <clears throat> they should definitely be looking out for their shareholders. But they have to look out for their for the bottom workers first because if it wasn't for them if, if they don't have them producing doing whatever job they're doing for the company there is no company <clears throat> stop treating the bottom workers like shit um We are so fucking enslaved. We are so enslaved by this system. Monetarily. Where my name comes from. Where I got the brand name. Enslaved. Enslaved ones. We are so enslaved. And it's so hard to get out of this fucking rat race, man. And that's what they, that's what they want. Because it's so hard to work. Work, work, work. And try to get ahead. And you can't. If you're a single man. And you don't have a family. It's, it's a lot easier to do. Because you could just live minimally. But you want some type of. Reward. To do. To deal with what you've been dealing with all day. Whether it's toxic. A to you know how much of a toxic environment. That we're having to go through. Uh, because of management or the stupid policies, we have to walk on eggshells. We, you know, when we go to work, we can't, we have to watch what we say. Back in the day, men could just say what they wanted to other men and they wouldn't get offended. But now since we have so many women coming into the workforce, we, we can't just really be ourselves. We have to watch what we say. We might say the wrong thing. You know, we can't joke around. Like we want. Um, we have to have a, a, a huge filter. Because if you say the wrong thing. Then you'll have one of these. Uh, weak men who get offended. Or these these women. Ha taking it to HR. And then you lose your, your, your livelihood. And then you have these socialists. That keep on giving. Your hard earned. Who, who the government takes your taxes. 
and then redistributes it to either other countries for these fucking wars and then takes your kids and wants to send them to die for these fucking wars. Um, you spend all this money on our fucking military because we're so worried about fighting each other and we should just like be working with each other to see what the hell's in the ocean to see how how we can colonize other spaces. See how we can work together instead of like working against each other all the time. It's competition is good. We need to have some type of system where you don't you don't enslave other people against their will to it's not a, it's either you have to, you have to, you have to work or you'll be on the street, but we have to have a system where we have an, so much, such an abundance of basic life necessities for everybody on the planet when it comes to food, um, medical uh, clothing and stuff like that, um, and and proper education so people don't take the stuff for granted, um, so they're not walking around in like candy land, like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, and just eating all the, like a piece of every piece of chocolate like it's gonna redo itself. There should be an appreciation for um basic human needs and and <clears throat> you can say food shelter and all this isn't um required because if you go out and try to sustain yourself in in nature um you're not going to have any of those you're not going to have medical but it, we're supposed to be a civilization like, if if some people are doing things wrong, I really like the idea of, um, I like the idea of beating people's asses um, publicly instead of having them sit in prison for so many years. Like, we're paying for these people to be sitting in prison. I really like the idea of caning people, having people's hands chopped off for repeat offenders, um, possibly accept making some type of island that they can't get off of for, for murderers and uh, uh, rape people who, who do things to other people sexually against their will um, of any age uh, that are found 100% guilty and send them there and just be like, have done with it. Like they, they can, you know, you, we don't, we don't kill them. We don't execute them. We just send them there. We banish them from society. Um, but we also have to have some type of incentive. So if you want the luxury stuff, um, you have to work harder for that stuff. Um, but this, there's this, this battle right now and I'm not. I like with communism. What the what the problem is with these people, these these young people who who advocate communism. They ignore the atrocities of communism in the past. The hundreds of million people who have st directly starved to death because of it. Um, people have starved to death because of capitalism, and I think that was indirectly. But people directly starved to death because of. Uh, 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 communism. Um, and, and communism doesn't give people incentives to want to innovate things. Okay. That's why we need something like, like a, a like a cap, like people should be taken care of their basic needs But people should be treated like 
people people aren't people are kind of treated like like cattle, man. Um, maybe it's just. I think America is just toxic, man. I think America has just gotten so toxic. I don't relate to hardly anybody, man. I really don't. I really don't. I don't relate to hardly anybody. I think that's where some of my frustration comes from. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It just seems like all this, like, okay, even if this is a simulation, if this is God's plan for me and my struggles with all the demons I fought off myself, and I fought some de some harsh demons to continue to be pushed the way I'm pushed, is unnecessary. I'm I'm so I'm so tired of putting out and trying to make things better and not receiving hardly any type of um what is it like reward or reaping the benefits of my labor at least a little bit I'm so fucking tired of it uh, you know and that's why I say it feels like there's it feels like there's no carrot. It feels like whatever I do, it don't fucking matter. I I, I feel like I feel completely nihilistic, man. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it at all. I don't like the feeling of being nihilistic at all. Feeling like nothing fucking matters. I've picked up the heaviest fucking rock I've done. And I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, dude. I'm tired. I'm tired of lifting the heaviest rock. Jordan Peterson. I've lifted the heaviest fucking rock. And I'm tired, man. I'm tired of hauling it. I really am. I'm... I'm I sound like I'm going to self-delete. I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. I'm not. But I am tired. I, I When my death finally comes, I feel like it will be a, a, a relief. Because I feel like I've been dealing with this fucking bullshit my whole life. And then people come on here, they hear me say, Oh, you've, you live in America, what, what the hell is wrong with you? Alright, yeah. You live in my shoes, what I've been through, man. The different traumas, and, and, and you know, people bring up the most excruciating traumas out there, you know, like losing a child when they're young, or losing a child at all, or, or, you know, being like Helen Keller, there, there's always somebody that has it worse off than you. You know, you could be a starving person somewhere on some desert island or extremely po poverty stricken place where you get malnutrition. Somebody, somebody, you know, this guy that lived three days on the bottom of the ocean until he was rescued imagine that imagine the cold the wet how dark it was in there how scary it had to be i think he said he heard his his mates getting eaten you know running out of oxygen being or or how about the guy that w went repelling into one of these caves and he couldn't get out or or being stuck going into one of these little tiny caverns where you can barely fit through and then being stuck and then the guy was upside down he went, and he couldn't get out. 
somebody always has it worse somewhere. But it doesn't take away from 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 the mental torture. You could have all of them. I could have a hundred fucking Bucatis. I could have a hundred fucking mansions. I could have all the possessions, all the luxuries you can never think of. Ever, but I'd still would feel the same way as I feel right now. Because material shit don't fucking matter, dude. What matters is other human beings. That's what fucking matters. And for me... To try to put myself like... Oh, I'm always going to be better on myself. I'm always going to be better on myself. It It feels like... All that hard work I've done to try to better myself and still be in the same position was fucking pointless. And I would rather have just stayed where where I was with my awareness and being fucking blue pilled than not being able to basically relate to anybody in my fucking life, anybody in my personal life. Not wanting to be around other people. Like, if my whole my whole life is is planned just to be a regular person, I wish I didn't ever try to go down. I wish I would have just stayed watching football, watching Netflix. And stop gaining all this fucking knowledge. I do not relate to the people. Who I'm, I don't relate to my environment. The people in my environment at all. There's people on here I relate to. There's people that, that relate to me. What I'm saying. It's. I don't know man. It's fucked up. But I might make another video later. Um, there's supposed to be more coming out on Twitter. Elon's supposed to be releasing more. I might make another. It might be tomorrow morning. Depends on how late it is. Uh, but yeah.